Okay, so Anthony Davis, he declined his option for his final year on his contract with the Los Angeles Lakers. So if he this last year in his contract, he was guaranteed twenty eight point seven million dollars. So Anthony Davis will test free agency. He is looking for a big, a bigger, more longer deal with more security um, than one season. So, Nate, what do you think about AD testing free agency? Do you think this is something that the Lakers fans should be worried about, or do you think that they shouldn't really be that worried and it's just so he can get a bigger contract? Well, it can go both ways, but I'm going to tell you this right now. If he does leave the Lakers, this is a big blow to them. And, and Anthony Davis, yeah, you can you and, and you can make uh, an argument that LeBron James carried them to the NBA Finals. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. AD was playing on his level. In some games, he was playing better than LeBron James, if I'm being honest with you. Anthony Davis is a huge factor. It's the reason why the Lakers even went to the playoffs and won a championship to begin with. And I think if they lose, and I think if AD does leave the Lakers because he doesn't want that contract, this is going to be a huge blow to the Lakers. Because remember, they had they had most of, most of their players from the year before, and they were without Anthony Davis, they didn't really perform that well. Anthony Davis comes into town with a few more players, and they're championship content. You know what I mean? And not to say anybody on that team is uh, uh, talented, because that's definitely that's definitely not true. Everybody on that team is extremely talented. But Anthony Davis was that final piece of the puzzle to get them to that championship and successfully win it. So with that said, I I think I think the fans should be worried because you know if this dude leaves, that's a big deal. But uh, I I think personally it, it can go both ways because remember this happened with Steven Schottsberg too uh, last year. He opted out of his contract with the Nationals. Everybody thought he was going to another team, and he ended up signing that nine year deal uh, worth over two hundred million dollars or something like that. This could, the same thing can happen here. So I mean. Be worried, but don't, if that makes any sense. I think it can go both ways, but I'm going to go a little on the worried side because even though some players opt out of their contract just to get another one, it can it may not even happen in this case. So I, I say look at it in both ways, to be honest. All right, yeah. So uh, before I give my opinion, I just wanted to say that Yahoo Sports was the first one to report this. But with that being said, uh, let me give my opinion. So... I don't really think Lakers fans should be worried. I mean, put it this way. He came off he came off of winning a championship, his first championship, 80. That's number one. Number two, he's a big factor of this team, which uh, Jenny Buss absolutely, and Rob Palenka, they absolutely understand and are well aware that Anthony Davis is a big piece of that puzzle, just like LeBron James is. You know, that's yeah. the one-two point right there. And that's number two. Number three, the Lakers aren't really in financial trouble considering, you know, in the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, they have all that money, so they can just sign. The Los Angeles Lakers, I really don't think they're going to be in financial trouble ever. So I absolutely agree. I, I mean, it, I mean, even with the big budget teams, you know, some players do end up declining for something bigger. But I, I look at it on both sides. Be worried, but don't be, because he cannot doubt, but he might not. Because, like, like I said before, it's not the first time it would happen. You know, I've I've seen it in. I've seen it in baseball right. a couple of times, so it's not, you know, it's not impossible. I'm, I'm almost positive he'll end, end up, you know, resigning. I'm going to say this right here. When Anthony Davis was with the New Orleans Pelicans, mm -hmm. if he were to stay one year longer than what he did, there was a possibility Anthony Davis would have been the first ever $300 million player in the NBA. $300 million player in the NBA. So I think this is Anthony Davis and his agent. I think his agent's Rich Paul, who's LeBron's agent. And I know Rich Paul's a smart guy, a smart man. He's a very smart man. This is them being smart. Let's test free agency, okay? Let's yeah, give the right. We're not going to tell anybody. Of course, we're not going to tell, we're not going to tell, like, Le, we're pro, hell, maybe he told LeBron and LeBron's all for it. Maybe not. I have no clue. But this ain't about LeBron. Let's test free agency. Let's get the Lakers to probably give us a little more money because we all know Anthony Davis is well worth more than 20 than 28.7 million dollars yeah right well I think what he's going to do is he's going to test free agency he's going to see what kind of offers are there and like you said maybe they should be worried because maybe somebody offers him an offer he can't refuse you yeah. know I can see the Boston Celtics offering something he can't refuse I can see um Chicago Bulls offering something yeah right refuse. Golden State maybe you know these big franchises I can Milwaukee. see them San Antonio Milwaukee, I can see maybe them. Toronto I don't know about Milwaukee and Toronto. I feel like they're lower of a market, but yeah. I can see 
But the thing is, though, I can see them offering. So I can see people. I can. I. It could happen. But in order, uh, instead of me saying I can't see it, I could. But I think it's very unlikely to happen. What I think this is, yeah. I think Rich Paul is like test free agency. See what offers are out, there, and then. Ba- and then let's come up with a figure that the Lakers can give us based off the offers that we're getting. Because I think I think Anthony Davis would. So his so for example, suppose the Celtics offer him fifty million a year, right? right. I think if the Lakers offered him forty, I think he'd take the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Personally, because he knows that LeBron James is the best chance for him to go back to the finals. It's as simple as that. LeBron James. LeBron James. A lot of people said it. Even Dwayne Wade has said it. Anthony Davis is LeBron James' best teammate that he's ever had above him. Then do I agree with that? Not necessarily, but it doesn't matter. What he's I, there's no doubt that Anthony Davis is a great teammate for LeBron James. Yeah. And so I know Anthony Davis wants to stay in LA. You know, I can't see him leaving LA. But again, I've said that about a lot of guys who I couldn't see leaving. I couldn't see uh Tom Brady leave uh, Tom Brady leaving. I couldn't see I didn't see LeBron going to the Lakers, but that happened. So like Crazier things have happened, but yeah, I, uh, I don't think Anthony Davis will leave after winning a championship. And after nobody leaving, ever, nobody ever expected games. Kawhi, nobody ever expected Kawhi to lead the Raptors, and he did. Right, and especially when the Lakers can get a third, a third star, or even a good player, you know. Yeah, like I, I remember they were in talks of getting uh, Dennis Schroeder, and then they were in talks of getting Demar Derozan. So I mean, like now after what happened with uh with the Phoenix Suns getting Chris Paul, I think they see that. And I think they're like, all right, now let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a third guy that we can rely on like fully. Cause yeah, like right. Rondo was that guy in the playoffs. Then Kuzma was that guy for a few games. And you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really that, that for sure third guy. DeMar DeRozan would be that for sure third guy if they got DeMar DeRozan. So you re-sign Anthony Davis. And I know, and I know the Lakers have enough money to, to get DeMar DeRozan. And you put those three together, and I think they go back to the NBA championship without a doubt. Yeah, right. So I think Anthony Davis is gonna is gonna is not really gonna test his luck going somewhere else, and I think he's gonna stay in LA because you hear about NBA legends, you hear about NBA legends leaving all the time. You hear about like Shaq, if I didn't leave the Lakers, me and Kobe would have won eight rings. You hear about Michael Jordan, well, if we didn't leave in '98, if we didn't separate, we could have won another like two or three. That, that, that possibly could happen. So I think with that being said, Anthony Davis knows that he can win a many more championships to come in the Lakers organization. And I think with that, he's not going to test his luck. And I think he'll stay in the Lakers organization. I think this all right here, him going to free agency, I think this is, this is just him to try to get a bigger contract. I absolutely agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. But yeah, I hope, I wish Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns well. This was a pretty great trade. 